Hey, it's the footy coach here. Big change made at United? Well, sort of. Richard Arnold had already quit as CEO in November, so they've only gone and headhunted City Chief of Footballing Operations, Omar Barada. Gary Neville's already had his say and talked about what he wants. Yes, Gary, it's all about you. I've said a lot about the awful footballing structure at United, so let's take a look at what this can do for Manchester United. Barada was the head of sponsorship at Barcelona before he moved across the city with various other execs. There he was in charge of footballing operations, working alongside Ziki, who was the director of football, with Pep Guardiola sitting under them in a defined structure which has worked out really well for City. At United, he's taken on a higher role. He's going to be the CEO, the chief executive, so it'll be a bit different as he'll oversee all departments, not just the the footballing side. However, having been part of the commercial side at Barcelona and also in the wider City footballing group, this gives him the experience required here. You contrast this to Richard Arnold and Ed Woodward, two Wallies who were purely from the commercial side and delegated everything footballing to John Murta. Yeah, that really worked. You basically have two aspects that he has to oversee. Footballing side, transfers, contracts, players and then everything else. Infrastructure, commercial sponsors and all the people employed at Manchester United. When it comes to the players themselves, themselves and the footballing side, Pep has wanted players before that did not fit what City felt was right and the man who stopped those transfers was Barada. Barada himself is pretty tough on player acquisitions, he feels players have two years to prove themselves at the club otherwise they are shipped out. This does bode well for United fans as you have a lot of underperforming players who have been hanging on and the club hasn't been able to get rid of them at all. The wages being paid at United as I've said before are extortionate. Barada himself has been on record saying that there's a balance that needs to be set when it comes to the wages at a big club. Although with City, we can never be too sure. Maybe this will stop United paying over the odds to players like Sancho, Rashford and others who frankly should never have been on those salaries. Any drawbacks? Well, there was a feeling of too many chefs in the kitchen with Ineos coming in, but the Glazers did the deal, meaning Ratcliffe would look after the football inside the club, and I'm not sure where Brailsford sits in this structure. He's in charge of Ineos Sport. Will he be getting his hands dirty? That's possible where you could get conflicts of interest, but I think United fans should look forward to seeing the changes that happen because it was just not working before. Personally, I've stated before fixing the stadium, training ground, and getting rid of John Murtagh are the easy wins. So let's see what Barada and Ineos do now that they've got the reins. If you've enjoyed this video, as always, please do like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.